on the uh, community, like back in Newton County, mm -hmm. but uh, just like reaching out to this wide fan base now, and, like mm -hmm. all Georgia fans like across the nation, like just tuning in to like what she has to say. The girl audience, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Jeremiah, um, Jonathan Ledbetter was out here the other day, and he mentioned that you know he doesn't really know why, but Georgia's that team that always has questions around it. You know, even though you guys are number two and something like that. Do you kind of do you kind of notice the same thing? Oh uh, yeah, we definitely notice it. But I mean, like it's just a lot of things we feel like we could just like do better. I mean, people are gonna ask questions because you know we're the team that came out of nowhere and uh, we you know, had a season like how we had last year. Now this year, we're just. You know, coincidentally, just went uh, six and zero, like getting here. But I mean, it's some things we need to clean up, and I mean, people see like what we're capable of doing, so that's why it's a lot of questions around the program. But I mean, it's, it's nothing wrong with the questions. Does it get frustrating at points? Like, all right, we're six and zero as an offense. You guys are you know scoring a lot, but at the same time, people you still have your doubters out there. Uh, I mean, it's gonna be doubters, but uh, I mean, they turn to followers in, in the long run. But uh, so like the, the main thing about it is like we we know what we could do. Like we score this many points, but it's like a whole bunch of things like not playing clean and stuff like that. It we could clean up. So like uh, when we finally get to like like playing at full efficiency, I mean it's just gonna be like hard this out. I know you guys say you try to tune that stuff out as yeah. much as you can, but also on the same side, you know, how do you try to use that as motivation when you say like I said you're scoring a lot but you still have dollars? Uh, just knowing that we're capable of doing much more. And that's uh that's really what it is. Like uh, I mean even when we're not like fully tuned in doing like what we need to do, like we, we're, we're producing this. So if we imagine like if we were just locked in, like we would be able to do so much more. And it's just wanting to be able to reach that goal. So, do you guys look at this game Saturday and on the road, a top 15 team, you know, like hostile environment? You look at this as a point to maybe silence a lot of those doubters, maybe more than you know, like a game against Tennessee or Vanderbilt or something like that. Uh, not really about like silencing the doubters. I mean, that'll come in due time. We're just more focused on like what we have to do within the program just to come back with a victory. Uh, we're trying to focus on becoming a more complete team, just playing clean. That's all, all it is. What do you think it's going to take for this team to make some of those questions go away? Uh, just being us, honestly. Being us, that's all it is. I mean, we got all the talent there. Uh, we just got to lock in on what we have to do, uh, get, a, get rid of like a lot of the penalties and things like that and just do what we have to do. You have mentioned locked in a couple of times. How do you get there? How do you uh, get to locked in? Uh, preparation. That's it. Preparation. I mean, repeatedly doing something over and over again, like it'll, it'll just come to you. So it's not really that hard after you like continually keep uh, doing something. It just comes like second nature. So yeah, that's what I mean by locked in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Y'all's practices are harder than the games. How do you feel like it'll benefit y'all? In that tough environment, sure. uh, I mean, we push each other at practice. Like, if we, you know, Monday through Monday through Friday, pushing each other to go hard and stuff like that. I mean, like, being being in a tough environment, I mean, it's going to be that. But uh, like, we do this every day. I mean, it's nothing new to us. Just being at a different place, different location. That's all it is. So How excited are you to play in that environment? I'm, I'm excited, but I mean, it, it doesn't really have that much of an impact on me, honestly. But I'm excited to actually uh, go there, hear a crowd. Hopefully, they're as loud as everybody says it is. But I mean, it doesn't really impact me. As a recruit, did you ever visit LSU? I visited them, but I never got the chance to go to a game. So yeah, so this will be my first actual game day atmosphere at LSU. Um, Curtis Martin also mentions pressure is privilege. How does that? How do you, as a receiver, along with other wide receivers? <coughs> Pull that into y'all's game. Uh, pressure being a privilege. I mean, just like like I was saying earlier, knowing like what we're able to do, like everybody having questions around us and they're trying to like put the pressure on us, like Georgia might fold this year and things like that. But like, I mean, we tune all that out. I mean, it's a privilege that they believe so much in this. So, I mean, in due time, it'll come. Where, I mean, how have you improved as a wide receiver, you know, coming from last year not really getting a whole lot of playing time to now being one of Jake Fromm's, you know, favorite targets to get to? Uh, just a mindset type of thing, honestly. Uh, just being able to, like I said, lock in and practice, doing it on a daily basis. That was like the main the main change from last year, just being able to do it all the time. So, yeah, uh, you and trusting been, myself. You might have been asked this, but the, the drop of the ball, what, what was the end result of that? Mm -hmm. uh, the, Drop the football in the game. We never got to talk to you after that. Oh, I mean, just uh, working on it, just handing the ball to the referee. That's all it was. I mean, just putting emphasis on it. And what about Jake's performance this year? I mean, you've played with him. I mean, how is he different this season than last season? Just mindset. I mean, that's that's really what I feel like uh, it separates you at this level, just your mindset. I mean, each year you got a, a chance to sharpen your mind. And I mean, that's what he did this year, stepping up, uh, being able to make like certain changes and stuff like um, at the line of scrimmage and stuff like that. So, yeah. How many times have you heard that Garth Brooks song, Call Baton Rouge, this week? Never. Never? <laughs> I heard it was being played at practice. Uh, how, how does it go? I'm not going to make me sing. <laughs> yeah, uh, please. <laughs> no, 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 no. Anybody else? I never heard that one. Oh. <laughs>
when we were walking out there and it was extremely loud. Oh, no. It if it, the, is the it like a country song? song? Yeah. 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 No, I, I, I can't lie. I'm like toned out when I hear okay. it. Fair <laughs> enough. Yeah, I can't. So, so what have you heard about playing in Death Valley? It's uh, just how rowdy it is, uh, how the fans are going to be, uh, just a lot of noise and stuff like that. Does the build-up for this game seem on par for South Carolina or even more? Uh, somewhat more. I mean, yeah, it's somewhat more uh, just because of, like, you know, we're midway through the season now and we we're early uh, early on, so neither teams were, like, proven at the time. But, now, like, now, you know, you got, like, a glimpse of what each team could do, so that's, that's pretty much what it is. How beneficial is it that you have a bye week after this particular game? Maybe you guys can put a little more into it knowing you're going to get a breather, get some guys healthy? Yeah, uh, I mean, definitely uh, just, you know, focusing on being uh, being healthy for the, the long run, the rest of the season, stuff like that. And then, I mean, either way, we're going to leave it out on the field. Like, that's what every game, bye week coming after doesn't really stop that. But just being able to recover, like, next week. Thanks, JJ. Okay.